repeat what you just said. I want to record this <laughs> because I got to listen to what you're saying because I think you're like, well, <laughs> why? But, I'm, but it's okay because it's good because I'm going to show you something. You said you can't give God any nothing out of your hand. And I and you said you said all you could give him was obedience, but you can't and, and praise and you can't but you can't give him anything spiritually. Well, if you give praise to God, where does that come from? Where does the praise come from? I don't know. It's coming from you. <laughs> praise the case from. I'm so grateful just to God. Well, but where do you get? If where is that? Where is that coming from? Wait, what did you just say? You owe them something. Yeah, if you're grateful to somebody, that means they did something to make you grateful. Okay. So you're really digging yourself a big hole here. So again, you still receive. If you're grateful, you receive something. What if you haven't received anything? <clears throat> Okay, but isn't that kind of like having, uh, aren't, aren't you giving God, let's say, let's say he's supposed to bail you out of something or something wrong is going on, right? And God, then you said, you have to bail us out of anything? And you said, what? Why does he have to bail us out of anything? Well, how are you supposed to come forth as gold if if he doesn't bail you out? Like, I mean, if he if he destroys you, I mean, okay, ultimately, ultimately, listen, (laughs) you make things so complicated, man, because you just you're saying. Tell me something. Uh, How is man? How how did man come into this world? Let's talk repentant sons of God, okay? Because God says, is God a man or a son of man that he should repent? Okay, so let's talk. We need to repent. Uh, You make things so difficult. Yes, no question. Just yes, no questions. Don't make it. Is God a, a man that he should repent? What does that tell you? That means man should repent. Well, I would think the same thing. So listen, just yes, no questions. Can you do that without turning into the woman and like just throwing explanations at me? Okay. Yes, no logical questions. You said you cannot give anything to God but obedience. Okay. So that that, worship, but you can't really do. Okay. Can't give anything because. All that praise and worship stems from God's goodness. What if you were Job and you wished that you were never born? You wished that you were never, ever born because your life was so bad. Because he had the wrong understanding of what it was with God. He had the wrong understanding about all of life as far as that's concerned. You see, and you wonder why our conversations turn into screaming and yelling matches. Okay? Why? I'm not screaming at all. <laughs> no, you're not, but you're not. You're evading the point here. You're. I asked you, can you give anything to God? And you said nothing but obedience. And then I said, you know, nothing physical. And I said, so you can't give him anything spiritual either. And you said, no, only praise. But you can only give him praise. Even the praise comes from God's goodness. So your praise comes from God. Being what good if you feel like you've not received any of God's goodness? Wouldn't you be giving him grace? Something you're saying that you can't give him? Well, what did the devil choose God of? I came to Job. What do you mean, what did he choose? Choose God. That you protect him. And you bless him, and you do all of this for him. Why? Build on that, because that's another good point. Because Job fears you. 
Uh -huh. Because Job fears you. That's why you do this. Okay. And well, Job fears you because you do all this. No. What what causes fear? No, isn't that what the devil said? But the what, only reason Job. Okay. Is there? Let me. Okay. I'll, I'll back up a little. I'll back up a little. I'll, I will back up a little bit so we can build this list of troubles here that you're creating. All the things. Is there anything in that list that that the devil then rattles off that is fearful? Is there anything to be feared in that list that he rattles off? To to the sorry, not to go rattling snake on you, but on the on the list that he spits out, okay, to God when he says, "Does Job fear God for nothing?" and then he lists all these things. Is there anything in that list that should be feared? That word fear is not fear; it is a sense of terror. That word fear is respect. Okay. Why why did they call it fear then and not I mean what is the difference between respect and fear? Isn't it because somebody can hurt you or do something to you? Or is it out of love in the other direction? Fear doesn't come out of love. Perfect love casts all fear out. You now you're now you're digging your hole even deeper. Is there anything in that list? Yes or no? Is there anything in that because list? Because you bless them on every side. Because you bless them on every 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 side. You've blessed him so much that the only reason he fears you is because you bless him. Why can't you answer yes or no? Yes or no. Buying his, buying Job's loyalty. Listen, do you do you realize?